Hey, what is up my scrubs? How you guys doing today? Welcome to another episode of Bonnie's Bakery. A new update just came out. And apparently, if you're not familiar, they've been adding like these new updates, right? This one is a, it's a pretty big update, but they've been adding more lore. It's hard to remember it all because it's been a bit, but like it's about real people. <laughs> There's uh, some kids involved, I, I would imagine. It's kind of dark. So I'm hoping we're going to find out some more lore about it because we've just been getting little snippets here and there. But yeah, I'm always excited for a new Bonnie's Bakery update. So, so apparently the newest update is going to add a book or something i don't know where we would find that okay because we have all the cutscenes, don't we yeah we got all the bingus cuts so there's no new cutscenes, as far as i know let's look at our gallery okay no we have the gallery maybe we need to go to the basement at night or something like that because i don't think there'd be a book over here although i do want to box some people <laughs> Bark! yeah i don't think what we're looking for is in here unless Bark! sorry <laughs> i had to yeah they also added another like endless mode or something like that it's like a stealth mission like this i believe where you can Bonk to your heart's content. Uh, last update, they did add some, like, secrets into that as well. So we need to check all of it out. So I watched the trailer and I noticed that they were in the library. Which, if it's a book, I don't know why I didn't guess that this would be the library that we need to go to. Which is right here, actually. So hopefully, we find a book. Wait, didn't I check out a book some time ago? I wonder where that is. How am I supposed to know? I don't know where the book's at. Hey, what did she do with the book? How am I supposed to remember this? Okay, so if you did miss last episode, I recorded this like four months ago. That's why I'm having trouble remembering everything. But this was the cutscene, I believe, that we unlocked. So she wakes up. I don't remember her getting a book, though. I do remember going to the library, but I don't remember her saying anything about a book. Maybe she did. What we do know is Bingus is, uh, it's, it's a serious deal, even if it doesn't look like it. She's having visions of the Bingus. And so this is where we get kind of a close-up of this picture, which seems to match up. See, like, the carrot kind of looking thing? And it matches up with the missing kid posters that we have in our menu. Oh, hey! All right, so I went to day two. I found a book. Someone didn't put this book away properly. Okay. I should put it back. Um. I have no idea where to put this book. Mm. Hmm. The ethereal lady, huh? <laughs> that takes me back. Okay. Maybe I'll give it a read. Well, of course we're going to read it. It's the new content. Chapter 1, A Peaceful Town. Okay, um, dang. I need to put my face somewhere where it's not gonna block anything. Alright, we're just gonna take away my face for now. I think you guys will survive. Along a quiet river, past the mountains and hills, was a peaceful town guarded by the Ethereal Lady. Under the protection of the Ethereal Lady, there was never a day of strife or suffering in this town. Everyone was happy. She rose with the sun and the soft white clouds. She rested when the moon blanketed the sky with darkness and stars. The ethereal lady united her children and served as a reminder to always be kind and follow her teachings. Okay. What? Am I moving? Oh, I get to move! Wow, she flies too. Oh no, she just jumps. Happy child. Ethereal lady. Cheerful as ever, aren't you? Mm, I was waiting for you to wake up again. Can you read me another story? Can we play? Can I pick you some flowers? Why, that's quite the list you've made. I'll come back to you later, my child. I must make food for everyone so they have energy to start the day. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm assuming this is going to be linked to the lore somehow, right? Good morning, Ethereal Lady. I can help you make food for everyone. My sweetest child, you're truly kind, but remember your lessons come first. Just as it is my role to feed my children, it is your role to complete your studies. Okay, I'll study from morning to night. How studious? Studious. I don't know. Enter the house? Uh, should I? I guess so. Every morning, the ethereal lady prepared a hearty breakfast for all of her children. She set a large cauldron of porridge on top of the table as the children light up one by one. Her hungry children filled their stomachs, leaving nothing behind but clean, empty bowls. Delicious! Could I have some more, please? <laughs> Thanks for the meal. The ethereal lady smiled amongst the lively chatter. Her heart was warmed by the kindness and happiness of her children. How wonderful it was to have a never-ending life of peace and innocence. Until the bakery lady showed up. I don't know, like, what, what's gonna happen here? Could I clean the dishes for you? My kindest child, I see that you've studied your lessons well. It would be rude of me to reject your offer. Uh, yay. 
Okay. Okay, I'm stuck. All right, so from what I've seen, this is supposed to be some sort of RPG, but again, I don't see why they would add this to the game if it wasn't linked to the, you know, story of the game. The food was so tasty. I appreciate your compliments. So, can we play yet? Soon, my child. Remember your patience. I must watch over all my children equally. I'll be sure to come back to you later, all right? Aw, okay. I understand. The shy child. I see you've eaten well today. I'm very proud of you. Oh, well, that's fitting for the shy child to not say anything. My child, you seem quite upset. Is something wrong? <laughs> After a lady, I was playing with a doll, but he took it away from me. Oh, no. Are you hurt? <laughs> I'm okay, but that was really mean. Could you tell me who did this to you? He's over at the field. He's picking fights with the other kids. He knows he can beat. Oh, well, I'm gonna go pay him a visit. An ethereal visit, that is. Ethereal lady. Oh, dear. What happened here? Wah! We were playing together, but my friend was hurt. That mean you punched me. Now, now, calm down, my children. I'll go talk to him. Can you tell me where he went? He went further down the field. That way. I heard crying. Did something happen? Don't worry, dear. I'll handle the situation. Okay, let's go see about this. Is it gonna get scary? Oh, dang, he's mean. The ethereal lady with grace and humility walked further down to the field. It did not take long for her to see a child tinkering with the broken doll. When the devious child notices the ethereal lady, he averted his eyes guiltily. That was not the first time he had caused a commotion. No matter how gently the ethereal lady tried to reason with him, he always went back to his mischievous ways. I heard about what happened. What did you hear? That you were causing trouble again. Hmm, whatever. I'm leaving. Hey, the ethereal lady wants to talk to you. It's rude to leave mid-conversation. Ugh. He's the one that punched me. Oh, is he causing trouble again? Give me my doll. It's not yours, it's mine. Now, now, let's calm down, children. Why did you steal her doll? It was a hers. It's always been mine. If that was the case, uh, you could have shared the doll with her for just a little bit. But it's mine. That means I can do whatever I want. Just let her play with the doll for a little bit. It's not that big of a deal. All of this was just over some toy? It wasn't just that. He hurt me too. Ah, yes. Not sharing is one thing, but hurting someone is going too far. They wouldn't let me play with them. They had it coming. That's because you're a troublemaker. Yeah, we don't want to play with someone that's mean. Uh, see? Hmm. While it is unfair that they didn't let you play with them, they clearly have their reasons. Everyone knows how difficult you can be. Wow, well, they're being... I mean, he is mean. But, like, the, the, she's kind of being a little biased towards him. You clearly have an infamous reputation. If you want others to play with you, look inwards before pointing fingers. The ethereal lady is right. No one wants to play with a meanie. Apologize. If you say sorry to everyone and act kindly from now on, things will turn out better for you. Sorry. The child apologized and reluctantly shared his doll with the others. His cooperation was merely a front, however, as his heart remained blackened and cruel. The ethereal lady looked on in disappointment as the child continued to glare at the others. Her sadness was interrupted by a hug. Thank you for fixing the problem, ethereal lady. You always do so much to help us. I wish I could do more for you. The ethereal lady smiled. Oh, my kind child, you've done more than enough today. You always study hard, care for others, and just now you helped resolve this conflict. If everyone were like you, there would be no suffering in the world. Uh, these kind, benevolent children were the greatest source of joy to the ethereal lady. She decided to cast the troublemaker from her mind and end the day tending to the rest of her children. Oh, what an interesting book. I guess I got sidetracked. I have to read some more some other time. For now, I need to go back to get back to business. Oh, so that's all we can do? I like the ethereal lady. Okay, so I guess let's just go to the another day. Don't worry, you're safe today. I just want to go to the library and read. I'm a scholar. Should I read this right now? Of course. Chapter 2, The Seeds of Doubt. The next day, the ethereal lady awoke to a particular sound. Silence. Hmm. Ethereal lady, there's big trouble today. Big trouble? Everybody's fighting and some of the kids are starting to look scary. I see. Don't worry, my child. I'll handle this. You have nothing to fear. Thank you, my lady. Let's go see what this is all about. Not again. The- Oh, God. Okay. Well, this escalated. The ethereal lady rushed outside only to find absolute chaos. Children who once listened to her every word shut their ears. The children once, who once followed her every step shut their eyes. The children who once showered her with the loveliest phrases shut their mouths. 
They lost interest in wisdom, uh, falling back to their falling back to their primal instincts. The Ethereal Lady shed tears for though these children had developed into unrecognizable beasts, she still uh, felt care for them in her heart. Leave me alone! I've already called the Ethereal Lady. Rawr! Leave that child alone at once. <laughs> oh, that just reminded me of something hilarious that I reacted to. Bro, this part. This. Ah! Answer me. Who are you? Ah, it's Big Green! <laughs> Let that child alone. <laughs> I have never taken... I'm sorry. I had to. I had to show that again. Let that child alone. What does that mean? And why did you say, ah, the Big Green? Okay, I'm sorry. This doesn't make any sense. Let that child alone. Are you one of my children? Grr. What happened to you? Grr. I need to help this child come back to its senses. Don't worry, my child. I forgive you. Grr. Oh, God. Okay, here's the RPG, I guess. The corrupt child is trying to attack. Defend the Ethereal Lady. Okay. Press E to send a, a message? What? Oh, no. The beast child is falling uh, further into corru corruption. Use the Ethereal Lady's... Okay, I must forgive you. Forgiveness... The Wow, we hit him with words. The corrupt child is resisting forgiveness. Break through the resisting okay, so I have to heal now. Alright. The text keeps disappearing though. I don't know why. The corrupted child is confused. Wait. I literally can't read the tutorial. It's going too fast. <laughs> Kill him with kindness, why don't ya? The corrupted child was brought back to its senses. Thank you for saving me. Of course, don't worry, my child. I'll take care of this. Stay safe, Ethereal Lady. I will now. Go back inside where it's safe. Huh? What happened? I'll tell you inside. Quick, we need to get to safety. I need to find the other children. Wow, well, something seems to be bad here. Hehehe, <laughs> caught you. Please don't hurt me. I don't want to play this game. Quit being such a baby. It's just a game of tag. I'll play the hunter again. Get running. Stop it. Huh? Are you not ashamed of yourself? You shouldn't be hunting down your fellow friends of sport for sport. Okay, I guess we're doing this again. Uh, okay, I think I need to defend. Oh, okay, well that didn't work. Or did it? Oh, okay. Wait, no, I, I, the, the tutorial was so fast, I don't... Okay. I will heal you! Oh. So we can go three times? So forget. Oh, what? It, okay, you. <laughs> I am so lost. I, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so forgive against corrupt, I think. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Alright, that seems to work. So I imagine we would. We can't take that away. So. Heal against resist? that work? I think that worked. Okay, so, uh, okay, okay. Bam. And then forgive. Forgive is our attack. Okay. So we defend against attack. Forgive! Die! Okay. Alright, I understand now. Have you learned your lesson? Beast Child 2. Are you okay? Do you see now? She still worries for you even though you were trying to hurt her. I... I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm just glad you're back to normal. I'm really sorry. It's all right, my child. For returning to us, I forgive you. Okay. I'm assuming this is all gonna link back to what's going on in the actual game, right? Come on, say something. That's enough. Stay out of this. So resisting, I, I do a heal. Okay, I think I'm doing this correctly. So far, yeah, it's pretty easy. I have slayed another child. <laughs> Though you may have lost your way, I forgive you. Come back to your senses. Huh? What happened? Somehow, I feel like I've done something wrong. Don't worry, my child. All that matters is that you're here with us again. Oh, God. He's getting double teamed over here. Ah! My ears! We got the toys, so let's get out of here. What's happened here? I was letting them borrow my toys for a bit, then they said they wanted to keep it. I see. I'll find them. We ain't letting them do that stuff around here. Oh, hey, yo. Hey, you broke it. It's fine. We can take someone else's. Found you. Get her. Oh god, okay, so it's gonna get harder now. They have two attacks. So defend. Um Okay, all well, I am not doing great right now. Okay. We need to chill here. 
Okay, so resist heal. Okay, heal. Bam. Corrupt. Forgive. All right. So as long as we counter everything, we'd be good. All right. I I'll probably just skip this because I don't think you guys care. All right. We took care of that. Return to me, my children. I feel like I've been sleeping. Oh no, I broke someone's toy. I'm glad you two are all right. Well, it's a timeout for you. I finally caught up what's happened. Hey, what did you do to my toy? I'm sorry, I was the one who... You're sorry? You're not sorry. Not yet, anyway. How could you? You must be patient. Shut up. Oh god, they're out of control. Look at this. Little cretin. Have you calmed down? Yeah. I'm really sorry for breaking your toy, and I'm sorry I helped him take it. Perhaps this all could have been avoided if I were a better teacher. No, it wasn't your fault, Ethereal Lady. Yeah, I got too angry. I took something that didn't belong to me. We're really grateful for your help. I'm glad you kind children were just completely tainted by my mistakes, but sadly, you are not the only ones who have lost their way. I have no choice. I must take serious action. She just like, <laughs> just like, explodes them all. Although the Ethereal Lady was able to save some of her children, others were unreachable. <laughs> Unreachable. Leave that child alone. They distorted more and more, rejecting her teachings and growing more depraved and beast-like. They stalked the innocent children, taking from them, hurting them, and leading them astray. As much as it hurt the ethereal lady, she knew that she was she had to separate the beast from the others. Her love for them would never fade, but they were simply too far dangerous now. The ethereal lady's love was boundless, of course, but even she had her limits. She said, I can't love those, those heathens. Wow, that was a lot. What an interesting story. I'll need to finish it another time. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I think this should be the last one. Oh wait, he's going to the library. I need to go to the library. Okay. Okay, this is the last chapter. Should I see how the story ends? Chapter three, Unforgiven. After the barrier was established, the ethereal lady ran the beasts out of her town and shut the gates tightly. For many nights, the beasts clawed and sneered. They missed the comfort of the town, but were not willing to earn the trust they had broken. Eventually, the beasts grew hungry. After rejecting their humanity, they no longer had the knowledge to make their own food. Some tore ravenously into the grass to scavenge for food, ripping the roots from the ground. Others grew violent and tore to each other. They lacked the wisdom to build a good society, so they constructed one based entirely on their desires. As time went on, they forgot about the comfort of the ethereal lady and deluded themselves into believing they were happy. They missed that porridge. It was so good. Hello, ethereal lady. You look uh, down today. Is everything okay? You don't have to be worried, my child. But you always help us whenever we have any trou troubles. I'd like to be here to listen to yours. I truly have raised you well, haven't I? I worry for the vulnerable children of this town, and the ones that have lost their way. I grow weary thinking of my dear sweet children who have become such unrecon unrecognizable monsters. Well, you don't have to worry about me. I'll always remember everything you taught us. Plus, that porridge is bomb! Thank you, my child. I pray that the others look to you for guidance. Was this how it looked? No, I think it was more of an angle. Yeah, it was more like the fru at this part. What? Alright. You can't forget the fru! You kids are weird. 100! Huh? Oh, I guess you win this round. I guess it's your turn to hide now. I'll count to 100. 100? No need. Just count to 50 and I'll be gone. Okay. 1, 2, 3. Should I go find him? <laughs> I feel like I should go try. Oh, I can't. Has this? Oh, this is the barrier. I was like, has that always been there? No, it hasn't. Oh, what do you think about this flower? Isn't it pretty? Do you like it? I do. I'll give it to you then. Okay. Carry on. Oh. The end of the town. Where has my last child gone? She couldn't be beyond the walls, could she? No, I have to make sure she isn't out there. She speaks in music. I'm gonna guess she's gonna die. Well, she didn't have to leave the gate open, but okay. Seems a little risky there. Oh my god, okay. This must be whatever Bonnie's got. I don't think I quite understand what you're saying. You're being tricked. Your precious ethereal lady is a liar and a fraud. The ethereal lady approached the snarling beast who glared at her with its feral eyes. I do not want to hurt you, my once sweet child. I see the pain in your eyes as you attempt to reconstruct what I've built without me. Your newfound hardships in life are due to my absence. My love for you has never waned. Return to me and live in peace. The elder beast has turned its back, retreating further into the dark woods. However, after the old beast retreated, a younger beast appeared from the shadows and stood before her. 
The after a lady gave him to a gentle smile and carried him back to the town in her arms. With each step they took, the beast regained his humanity. He held on to her gently, and before he knew it, he had forgotten about his tainted family beyond the walls. Unfortunately, the Ethereal Lady's troubles would only continue to grow. The most devious beast grew more clever. It climbed over the walls and searched for its victims. Well, I sure hope so. It has wings, right? The children ran and hid in fear as it plowed through the town. Drooling at the sight of their untainted society, the beast spoke to the children in an unrestrained snarl. I think you're being protected, but you're all just prisoners in this tiny town. Don't you want to think for yourselves? You look at us like we're the beneath you look at us like we're beneath you, as if our ideas are inherently inferior. But what will you do when the ethereal lady turns her back on the rest of you as well? The children pleaded for help and their uh, call was answered as the ethereal lady approached the beast. Her kind love grew cold as she saw just how inhumane the beast had become. Oh, this is the final boss. Oh, I, he's got to get some forgiveness. Oh, I couldn't do anything. Oh, I didn't press it. That's why. This beast, there is no humanity left in it. Rather than use my forgiveness, I need to purify this monster once and for all. Purify. Oh, dang. She hit him with that special attack. Uh-oh. Okay, now there's two. All right. Is this the last attack? Oh, cancel that, please. Oh, that's fine. I think I still won anyway. Oh, I see. He has his own life bar. I didn't even notice that until right now. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Okay, they're making it harder now. All right. It's fine. I got this. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Please tell me. Okay, so I died. I... I... Rise. Oh, God. You just get... Okay. So they let you try. Thank, thank God. Aha! Hey, I'm not complaining at all. Be gone, beast. How far you fallen, foolish beast? If you, oh, you cut off his head? Okay, all right. You savage, ethereal lady. If you just returned for forgiveness, I would have opened my arms to you. My children cheered at their victory. Glad to see the hideous beast taken down for good. Let this be a lesson, my children. Cast aside the beasts who reject my forgiveness, for they are no longer human. However, if you find that a child has lost their way, return them to me so that they don't lose their, huma their humanity. The children heeded the ethereal lady's words, and gradually peace returned to the town. The horrible old beasts were slain without hesitation. The younger troubled beasts were treated with love and care, and eventually regained their humanity. With the help of everyone in the town, and of course with the power of the ethereal lady, everybody lived together in harmony, happily ever after. Yay, a happy ending! Alright, I need to put this back where it belongs. Uh, do you know where this book goes by any chance? I'm not sure where this came from, but this is definitely not one of our books. Huh? Hey, why not take it with you? I noticed you were really invested in it. Watching you read it made me want to give it a go. Well, if you insist, I'll make sure to take good care of it. The whiteboard has been updated. I'm hoping we get more than that. So we have the book on our inventory and we can read at some point, but I haven't figured out where we can read yet. All right, I bonked one. I'm hoping that we can go back to the bakery. I'm being chased by a cop. Hurry, please. Haha, <laughs> screw you guys. Okay, that didn't do anything. I've tried going to practice mode, but I couldn't find the book. All right, so there's another mode called Endless Bonking, and I don't know how to get there. But there is an achievement called Enter a Endless Bonking Town. So I don't know if there's like a path that we need to go to. Wait, what is this? Is this it? Maybe, okay, it says come back at night. All right. I have nothing else to go off of, so let's try it. Hey, there we go. Okay, so uh, I guess we leave. There it is, endless bonking. All right, so I wanted to see if like maybe we, if we play this, it'll unlock some something else, you know? Okay, entering the endless bonking town. This is the bonking hammer. Wow. Yeah, okay. This looks crazy. I immediately died. Okay, maybe if we get a certain score, maybe it'll tell us something else. All right, so we're supposed to get like power-ups and stuff. One, three. So do we have like a combo or something? You are welcome in our family. The All-Seeing Eye Foundation. Just a lot of that. Oh, God. I'm about to fail again. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> what is going on here? Vegas, come here. Oh. 
Bigger lungs greatly increases stamina. Uh, uh, bonk the groove and dude. Boost move speed for a few seconds. Slightly increased sprint speed. Okay. How about greatly increased stamina? What's happening? Okay. All right. Let's try to get like 50. Wait, why is the eye will expose you covered in that red ketchup? Because that's what it is. Oh, so the red ones are more. Whoa, what the heck is that? <laughs> Freaky. Jammer, add time to the police timer. Overdrive. Bonking is easier for a few seconds after bonk. Slightly increased sprint speed. Let's do that. <laughs> what is up with Bingus? Silencer, score two points when bonking uh, a caller and 15 when a police call is canceled. Oh, that sounds great. Score six points when bonking three ingredients in quick succession. Ooh, double stamina recovering speed. Let's do that. Oh, I see the police come eventually. I forgot they do that. But wait, can you hide the bodies? I don't think you can hide them. So what, I guess you have to be strategic about where you kill them? Okay, so you can cancel police calls. I better freaking watch out. No. Oh no, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, uh, bu 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 screw it. This is, we'll increase it. We'll keep increasing our stamina. All right, this is definitely my high score. Okay, we're gonna double stamina recovery speed. Bro, sniped me out of nowhere. Oh, two of them. Look at this. All right, um, we'll do sprint speed. Dang! That's what I'm talking about. This is freaking so much bonking. Hurry, hurry. I think I get a. Uh, no, I was gonna get a boost. It's crazy how fast you can go after you actually get a bonk. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang it. Green, wait, what does the green one do? 18 points, baby! Oh my god, that gave me so much points. High score, baby. Oh, I gotta cancel this call. Where's the call, though? Oh, there's so much going on right now. No, the freaking... I didn't even see the cough there. Okay, what does 66 give me? Does that at least give me an A? Okay. All right, there's a tip there that said, watch out for a lethal surprise visitor. I don't know what that means. Okay, all right, I've got 100. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. Oh, this is crazy. So much bonking. Uh, they keep calling the police. It's just so many people around now. Woo! Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, oh, God, there's so many cops. No, 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 no. Oh, I gotta call. Kill the phones! Oh, jeez. 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 Oh, God. Kill the phone ones! Dude, I'm just swinging. I'm just swinging. Oh! The panda shows up. Okay. Come on. Please tell me that was at least an A. That's an A? Okay. We can do better. Man, I'm going to be mad if the 200 was an S rank. It's a pretty fun mode, though. I actually like this. It gets very chaotic. The next day. All right, guys. I'm back. So... I found out that that is all the new content with this update and from reading on the developers like page where they post the game they like leave updates and stuff like that they do say that the story of Bonnie's Bakery is not over but this is going to be the last time we hear about it in Bonnie's Bakery the game apparently there's going to be other games or other projects that's going to expand upon this story in one you know shape or another but I have a few clues as to maybe sort of explain as what's you know what's going on how does the book relate to anything i have a few connections that i just thought were interesting that i wanted to show you guys to maybe make sense of everything okay so i guess i'll start with the book so remember how i showed the the ending right the ending where bonnie wakes up and bingus is like you know haunting her as she goes up to this picture well look at this you see these symbols also notice these children i'm pretty certain that this is bonnie ah! now this book is the only place where we actually see this symbol again. Well, it's not the only place. I'll, I'll, I'll get into it. But at the end, so you guys remember what thing. It's about these, like, you know, this ethereal lady trying to have this perfect life. And she wants her children to be good and listen to her and everything like that, right? Well, at the very end, when we purify the monster. And look, see? There's the symbol once again. And as you can clearly see, it's the same exact symbol that matches up 
with what, you know, they're wearing. Now, it almost looks like Bonnie is possibly wearing the same symbol, but hers is like a carrot. You know, I don't know if that's a coincidence, but you know, it looks kind of similar. And I'll tell you why I think this is Bonnie here in a second. But first, I want to bring up the fact that when you go to the notes in the practice zone where we're first playing as the perspective of a Bonnie, right? And I, I think it's also an interesting connection that like, remember when we played the original game, how everything looked more realistic? There were still animals, which was kind of confusing to me, but because I don't think they're actually animals. I think they're actually humans because there is connections to the characters. But I always wondered why is it from Bonnie's point of view that it is a cartoonish, like everything's fake, right? Everything looks completely different and from her point of view. But when you go towards the other person that's trying to expose her's point of view, everything looks realistic. So I think that that's not a artistic choice. I think that was deliberately done. So yeah, so this is the notes that we pick up from Bonnie's perspective. And it does say right here, Bear is so nice. So Bear was her first customer that she ever got from Bonnie's bakery, right? I'm glad it was my first customer. To be honest, ever since my family disappeared one day, it's been the closest thing to a family that I've had here. Although I miss human connection, sometimes I feel like animals are way nicer. So, something very traumatic happened to Bonnie to where her family went missing. And if this is Bonnie, and I'll explain like a little bit more later on why I think it's her, clearly they were kidnapped, these children were kidnapped by this cult. Which we've already established was linked to that ethereal lady book and that whole thing because of this symbol and also notice how they're taller right they're they're bigger so these are probably adults most likely now did they kill bonnie's family what did they do to the family right they they, they kidnapped the children she says her family disappeared but maybe that just couldn't could mean that she was kidnapped right and also another interesting thing that i i read right here so the second note said i heard that phones nowadays can do a lot of things Maybe if I had a phone back then, dot, 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 never mind. Anyway, one of my customers said the social media promotions and then it just goes into this random stuff. Now this could be one of two, one of two things. So maybe she was taken as a child and she never had access to a phone. No access to any outside, you know, connections to the world. She seemed very sheltered and not, uh, you know, connected to reality and allowed to have technology which would make her, you know, it would make sense to why she sees everything as animals, right? She literally doesn't even see humans and Bingus is like her alternate personality because of her traumatic past. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. It's either that Bingus or Bonnie is a reincarnation of a past life that was maybe told in that book. And the only child that actually makes sense that it could be, if that was a theory, when the ethereal lady confronts the beast, like the big beast, uh, there was a child that basically like came out of nowhere. Now again, I think that's a far fetch. It's probably not Bonnie. This is a guy anyway. So like, I don't know. That's the only thing that seems to make any sense. When I was reading the story, I was thinking that like the ethereal lady was kind of crazy, right? Like, I think the beasts are actually not the beasts. And this whole book is probably just to maybe brainwash people. I'm not exactly sure. It's like some sort of like children's book that they would put in those cults places where they keep the children to further like make them believe that everyone else is evil, you know? The beasts, I don't think the beasts were actually evil. I think all the beasts wanted was some freedom and the ethereal lady did not like that. And you can see that they clearly kidnapped the children, so. And what does the ethereal lady do? She slays the freaking beast. She purifies them with that symbol, that evil symbol. If we go to endless bonking mode, uh, you can see these posters everywhere. And here, you, here's that symbol once again. And it says, you are welcome in our family. See, it's, it's all like, just like the book. The All Seeing Eye Foundation. It's clearly a cult, right? The same exact symbol to purify. They have a book out for the kids and they have this stuff plastered everywhere. Kids have gone missing. And I don't know, I don't remember where it was stated, but it was stated that Bonnie didn't, even though she did kidnap people, most likely, and turn them into ingredients for her restaurant. And again, I, she's she's messed up in the head, so she actually doesn't even realize, I don't think she realized that she's doing something bad. I'm not exactly sure about that. I just think that she sees them all as animals when really they're all humans. Now, here's another part that sort of confuses me. We have this building right here, right? And I thought the carrot, you know, the carrot was kind of similar to that symbol. And this almost appears to be like some sort of church or something, right? Like that's what it looks like to me. And when you go in it, I mean, there's like, yeah, it's, it's like a church. So I don't know if this is their headquarters. I don't know what this little dude's doing here. It does say Bingus was here though. Now, if we compare this image again, 
There's only two characters that I see that actually match up to, to the missing posters that you guys may remember. So we got the blonde haired girl, and then we have the orange haired uh, guy. So there's the orange haired guy. These are all the kids that went missing. This doesn't look like a kid though. And these characters seem to resemble the animals that we hunt. So I think it's a mix. So we have Bonnie right here, which ob it's obviously Bonnie, right? Because Bonnie uh, has the bunny ears, right? And it's a fun little fact, but they actually did change the art for this poster. It used to be her with like twin tails that did resemble a rabbit. But yeah, Bonnie, you have to remember Bonnie's whole personality is a rabbit thing. So this has to be Bonnie. So this is what she looked like before, you know, when she was a regular child, right? That's a missing poster. I don't know who this is supposed to be, but definitely they could be seen standing next to each other. They're different colors, so I'm assuming they're not family members. Maybe they became friends? Not exactly sure. I don't know where this character is. So yeah, because of like whatever happened to her, she got kidnapped and, and you know, brainwashed. Who knows what happened to her? I think Bingus is her child self, possibly, because it is very kid-like, very wacky. And yeah, I think it's all further... Uh, I think it's all further like uh, 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 cemented in my mind that that this is Bonnie and that Bonnie is in that picture because like why would she have this picture of her days in this cult or you know that's her only childhood picture is just her with these people and it would make sense why she keeps seeing uh, images of Bingus all the time yeah maybe like maybe it's her memories before she was kidnapped and brainwashed or anything like that you know something like that so that's definitely gonna be bonnie her hair just looks a bit different but she has the same blonde hair now the final thing that i don't really understand is that if we go back to the endings this is the most interesting ending there is the you can't escape bingus ending and and see what it says right here you can't escape bingus You know, you can't escape your delusions, it says. And then it has this freaking terrifying picture of like a, uh, looks like a real person. You can't really see much of it, but it seemed like that there was pink and it was a girl. So it almost seems like that was Bonnie. But how does that make any sense? I don't know. And perhaps maybe she wears this as the symbol. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why she wears this. So my point being is I think obviously something bad happened to Bonnie. She went crazy, and that's why she's killing the people of the town, right? Because she doesn't even see humans anymore. And obviously, people do want to stop her, but there's this secret society that's going on. And, yeah. And that's pretty much it. Again, the story is going to be... There's going to be more to the story, according to the developers, but yeah. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you disagree, agree with, uh, you know, my little theories here. I'm almost certain that that is Bonnie. And, uh, yeah, it's a very interesting story so far. I just don't understand it all. So many questions I have, but yeah, no scrub of the day today because this is kind of a long video and I need to get this video out, so the less editing, the better. But yeah, leave your comments down below. Let me know if you agree or disagree, and I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Bye now.